Over the years, design and construction method of building have evolved. The evolution has led to many options of design and construction method of various structural components, just like the hollow slab. Hi, welcome to Construction Point. I am Oshibe, and today I shall be showing you how to produce a hollow slab. Stay tuned. All the same, from site clearance, foundation, flooring to the raising of the columns, the difference between our hollow slab and our traditional solid slab is zero. But on getting to the top of the slab form work, the difference becomes obvious, owing to the introduction of hollow blocks and the arrangement of the reinforcement. Let's start from the reinforcement. At this point, the major beams are tied, that is the primary and secondary beams are tied. After this, the position of the ribs are marked with either marker or by placing the hollow block in between the position of the ribs, which are marked to be parallel to the shorter span or perpendicular to the long span. After this is done, the ribs bottom reinforcement is passed under the major beam reinforcement top while the top of the ribs is passed above the top bar of the major beam reinforcement after this is done the beam major beam the primary and the ribs are gradually dropped after dropping the adjustment the whole adjustment is done and then it's time to lay the hollow blocks the hollow blocks the hollow blocks are gradually and carefully stacked together and the ends closed with weak mortars to make sure that there is no room for inflow of concrete into the holes. This will enable us to achieve the purpose of weight reduction, sound insulation and heat insulation, which is one of the major targets or purpose of using hollow blocks. Not only that, having placed my ribs and my blocks, it is time to place my top reinforcement. For the sake of this project, we are using wire mesh as our top reinforcement. After placing our top reinforcement, our ribs and our major beams are casted and properly vibrated after which our topping is casted. While casting the topping, we should be reminded that the maximum topping allowed is 150mm while the minimum topping allowed is 75mm. But for the sake of this project, we are using 100mm as our topping. So after doing the whole thing, the whole thing, the way it's supposed to be done, this is the product you are going to achieve. <laughs> Remember, hollow slab are only encouraged for span that is above 5 meters. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe and click the notification button for more of this type of video.